So typically around this time, there are tons of different iPhone users who tend to go and upgrade their phone to the latest version of software. And guess what? Their phone ends up overheating like crazy. Now this is actually very common and it is a very easy fix. It really doesn't take too much time. And there's a few things you can do to actually make sure that your specific you know, iPhone for the most part is not going to overheat. Now, the very first thing that I recommend doing that I talk a lot about on my second channel is basically keeping your phone in cool environments. If your phone is constantly in, you know, in one case in point, if it's always in the heat, if it's always in the sun, or if you're driving around a lot and if you put your phone directly in the sun, just like on the windshield or on the dash, that can actually cause some massive overheating for your phone. So typically what I recommend doing in that standpoint is just keeping your phone in cooler condition, either just keep it in your pocket or just keep it on the side away from the sun. That is the number one thing I'd recommend doing in that situation. Now, another thing that can cause your phone to overheat a ton is if your phone is constantly just kind of playing games in the background. Now, what does this mean? Well, if you're playing massive games like Call of Duty Mobile, which is a great game, or if you're playing you know, massive other games like PUBG or whatever else you're playing, it can cause a lot of your phone basically to overheat. So what I'd recommend doing in this specific situation as much as you can is to keep your phone away from playing those heavy games if you're away from a power outlet and or if you're already in super hot conditions. If your phone is an older phone like this one, like an iPhone 10 or it's not severely old, but if it's, if it's an older type of phone like this one, that can also cause some issues where if you're playing those heavy intensive games, well, maybe those games are going to be the most optimized for your device. So what I would recommend doing there again is if you were able to play the games for a little bit, as much as you can keep your phone in a colder environment you don't want to play a super intensive game keep your phone in super hot condition and then put it in an even hotter condition it's going to maintain that temperature and it's going to degrade that battery like crazy now another thing that can cause some issues is with your iphone's battery charging so if you're charging your battery and if you have a fast charger that can actually cause some heat coming from your phone as well so what I'd recommend doing here, which a lot of people recommend too, is to go into your battery option here under your iPhone, click on battery health and charging, and go ahead and just keep optimized battery charging enabled. You can also turn this one on if you want to, but optimized battery charging is going to go ahead and keep your phone, it's going to fast charge up to 80%, and then it's going to trickle charge up to 100%. So this is going to not only help your battery health, but it's also going to avoid your iPhone from seeing those massive you know, heating conditions when your iPhone just starts charging. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you're rocking like a super heavy case and like it's super covered up, that can also help keep the heat on your phone. So you can always just you know remove the case and rock your phone like that for a little bit too. But those are pretty much the main things that I recommend. If you can also go ahead and remember that when you're updating your phone, that can also cause your phone to overheat a little bit. So if you just wait it out a little bit, that can help kind of minimize the heating that is you know, kind of coming from your phone. So those are pretty much the main ways to do it from what I know. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to love.